Okay, this has got another food video in this case, Arby's. I got a two for six and this mint chocolate shake, which is, I think, a temporary item. Looks pretty good. There's some chocolate on the top, so I'll start with this, with the mint pieces. It's easy to drink the straw sometimes. You get a shake that's really difficult, strong green color to it. It's got some whipped cream, those chocolate pieces, and also some drizzled, more bitter chocolate. It's a good combination of different chocolates and plus the mint itself. So if you are a fan of mint, I think it's gonna work out well for you. I do think it has that unique Andes mint flavor to it. So if you are especially keen on their stuff, Definitely check it out. And start out with the classic beef and cheddar. I'm sure you probably all had this. So in the case of the beef and cheddar, they use a different bun than the regular, just straight up beef. It's got slight little bits of, I think, onion on there. And then the standard meat plus the kind of nacho -y cheese to it. Honestly, it's not my favorite sandwich from them, but we'll try it out again. Actually, the bun itself is a little softer. It's got more of a buttery or milky flavor to it compared to the regular ones. A little less sweet than I remember them, which is good in my case. You know, actually, I do like this. I think for some reason in the past, I really remember the sweetness to it. But in this case, for whatever reason, it doesn't have that strong sweetness to it. So maybe they slightly modified it or I've just changed my taste a bit, but it's good. This is the roast turkey with Swiss wrap. See the wrap itself is a little darker, so it's probably some type of wheat. I see some onion, which I should have told them not to put in there, but it's okay. Also the turkey, some dressing, a little bit of tomato, and some lettuce. Dressing has a kick to it. Some type of mustard flavor, which I like. This is a slight bitterness, I think from the lettuce maybe, and I don't know what else, the onion probably. The wrap is slightly dusted with flour or something like that. I think it's a little tough. It might be maybe a little old, but it's not terrible. Overall, it's pretty nice. It's a little more refreshing than the other stuff that's just super heavy, but you get a good amount of meat in there. I think it's decent. The Swiss is in there. You can taste it a little bit, but it does get slightly overpowered by the dressing. There is actually some mayonnaise as well on the bottom. All the three things combined was pretty expensive, around $10 with tax. So, I don't know, I, I don't like spending that much usually, but sometimes I'll get something like this and it definitely is filling enough, especially with the wraps, you get a little bit of vegetables, which is nice. So, yeah. Overall, very nice Arby's, uh, good two for six deals, but might as well check them out if you're interested. Anyways, I'm Scott. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.